Hello everybody, my name is Moon Sims. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today we are back in the not so very household. It's been quite a while since I last played with them. But here we have Jasmine with her first ever grandbaby. So in the last episode, Phoenix gave birth to her first and last child, Yellow Jen. This baby was originally named Dawn, but I have since changed her name to Ellie because I simply just didn't like the way Dawn was rolling off my tongue. So I changed the baby's name. Her name is now Ellie and I love it. Ellie means light, I think. It came up under the yellow category, so that's what I went with. But Jasmine is here with little Ellie and she's just helping Phoenix while well, Phoenix is just finishing up her college courses. We have Phoenix down here working on her project. She only has three days left, which I completely did not realize we were so close on time because I really wanted to do this order of enchantment thing we might be able to finish this but that's like about it which sucks because I was really looking forward to it but unfortunately it looks like we won't really be able to get very far so yeah I'm gonna just have Jasmine go ahead and start helping Ellie learn some skills so that's what we're gonna be doing and focusing on this episode while Phoenix finishes up college which will be in this episode and then we can go ahead and get her into the politician career which I've been anxiously waiting to hurry up and finish that so ooh, Ellie has another quirk revealed her first one was frequently sneezes and her second one is feeding tinkler I want Jasmine to go ahead and let's see activity why don't we play peekaboo i don't know if she'll like this very much because like none of the toddlers i meant none of the infants i've had liked that yeah she doesn't like it she's so sweet with her oh i am can you stop moving the baby please like i'm trying to get a good look here oh she's got a death glare why don't you also read her a book phoenix loved reading when she was a toddler i think she loved books so ellie might like books too what are you reading her Ooh, it's about the sky and the moon that might be why she goes into the astronaut career because she was read about the moon <laughs> when she was an infant okay why don't you go ahead and tell her a bedtime story she's getting tired perfect she's asleep grammy did it go ahead and you yourself can go to bed now because it is five o'clock in the morning so ruby here is cooking breakfast for the very first time i hope she doesn't have jasmine's cooking skills because jasmine set the house on fire one too many times and it looks like she didn't she didn't set the house on fire how's the food quality though it looks good you guys i completely forgot that ruby and jasmine were vegetarians <laughs> i'm so sorry stop eating that please oh my gosh i'm so sorry i don't know how many times i have done that i'm so sorry i'm gonna have to go ahead and wake ellie up because i want her to have a good sleeping schedule it's already like nine o'clock girl how long does it take you to put fruit in a bowl like why is this taking you forever to do and here grammy is with ellie getting her nice and fed i don't know if it's just me or if this baby looks huge aren't you the sweetest little thing that's so cute but doesn't she look like massive or is that just me Watch, they're so cute together. I love them. So cute. I'm gonna have her come put Ellie in this little plaything down here so she can go ahead and work on her skills. And Ellie has reached the reach milestone. Ellie started moving her little arms and she can now reach nearby objects. That's awesome. I have Jasmine here now help. Oh, she needs her diaper changed. Um, helping her do tummy time. All right, she needs a diaper change. Bad. So, why don't we come up here and change her diaper? Oh, okay, or just change it right there. You know what? That is actually so accurate. 
um why hike all the way upstairs when you can just do it right there like i get it oh my gosh she was trying to sit up by herself did you guys see that oh my gosh she's trying to sit up there we go now she can okay ellie is getting quite tired so i'm gonna have jasmine come back up here and just put her to bed and now we're gonna have phoenix get up and oh who just left the baby on the floor how are you gonna put ellie to sleep if she's in the living room can you get her or do you need a break from her already all right phoenix just went in to go give her presentation all right we're done we gave our presentation so now that we're here back on campus we are gonna go ahead and offer a medal oh wait i don't have a medal i should have grabbed oh yeah i do Okay, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Offer a medal at the ritual offer and tend to Sprite's garden. I have to find that because I don't know where that is. Okay, so we're here at the bar. Let's go ahead and look around for this ritual offer. Travel to the ritual grounds. Okay, how about you tell me where the ritual grounds is? Is it like, oh, okay, it's right here, way deep in the woods. I just had to look a little farther. Um, check in with the sprites, make offering to sprites. <gasps> what was that? They're mad at you? What is she mad at? Wait, Try lightening the mood by entertaining your sprites with mischievous, funny, or romantic socials on other sims. Make offering to sprites. Yeah, I could do that. Because we do have to, we do have to, um, get our romance thing up. Did you do it? She didn't make an offering. Why won't you make an offering? I did. Why won't it? Why won't she do an offering? For whatever reason, she's not making an offering. Maybe she doesn't want to be a part of the secret society. She can offer Sapphire, but not the metal. So I think we're going to invite Dakota over so we can entertain the sprites. But I had someone new, actually. I probably should have did somebody new. Oh god, Dakota's here. Oh no. I take it back. Dakota, go away. Kelly, they have a good compatibility. She finds her attractive. Dakota, go away go away go away um why don't we add to group and why don't we come upstairs so we can talk to her alone we're just gonna ditch dakota sorry oh he's coming with uh, i guess we're gonna just tell jokes oh she seems a little paranoid oh dakota's leaving and i didn't even have to ask him but we're just gonna flirt with her as well it will entertain the sprites and it will also help us finish up our serial romantic aspiration oh she's unflirty this is gonna be a bit difficult i think the sprites are not entertained i'm trying my hardest she's flirty so she might let us kiss her hands which will count got it we only have two more. I'm gonna have her try to make an offering one more time. She didn't do it. I don't know what to tell you. Check in with the sprites. Maybe they're happier. They're not. They're not. Okay. They're a little wicked. Not gonna lie. Maybe I made a mistake. But I can't do anything. Offer a crystal. I did do that. I'm so confused because I did this. <laughs> I did offer a crystal, they took it, um, but whatever, let's go ahead and head home because the baby is upset, I can see. Oh my gosh, she's hungry! Has grandma not been taking care of you? You guys, I thought I could leave her here and everything be okay, but it's not because she was not taken care of the entire time we were gone and she's horribly hungry i need jasmine i meant phoenix to hurry up and help her out um grandma much rather be tending to her garden than her granddaughter love that thank you oh god the sprites followed us home i need you to feed the baby please like right now she also needs a diaper change i can't believe jasmine just left her to her own devices and they're doing tummy time together but she can only watch her for so long because she has a presentation a term paper she has not even written 
Oh, love the dirty diapers in her room. Thank you guys so much. She hasn't even wrote this, so I need you to stop everything that you're doing. And grandma, you're gonna have to change her diaper. Oh, she rolled over to her back. Good job. Grandma's gonna have to take over. Oh, look, she's sitting up. What is she doing? Just holding her, keeping her up. Oh yeah, put her on the floor instead of her comfy crib. That's gonna make everything better for her. What is she doing? Where is she putting her? Oh yeah, put her in the hallway. That makes things so much better. I hope you guys can see that Phoenix does not have parenting skills, which she's not supposed to have. I love how everybody is just walking by the fact that she's just in the hallway on the floor. Oh, Tommy came to see the baby too. He hasn't really interacted with her that much. Maybe we can give Jasmine a break and have Tommy help because Tommy was the main caregiver for when their babies were growing up because Jasmine is tired and I'm sure she would desperately like a shower. Once she puts Ellie down, Tommy's going to take over. Oh, Phoenix is back. But Phoenix is exhausted. She just finished up her last college course. He's tense about a crying infant. He's like, you know, I thought those days were behind me. <laughs> I raised three kids. I'm tired, basically. And we'll go ahead and do tummy time together, even though he doesn't want to. But he'll just have to deal. <gasps> she rolled over to her tummy. Tommy, you're a genius. He didn't even have to try hard. How old is Ellie? So she's only like two because I think they only have like five days for infancy. So now that Ellie can do tummy time, we're going to have uh, Tommy help her practice sitting. She is so adorable, you guys. She looks just like Phoenix, so therefore she looks just like Tommy. Phoenix is awake. <laughs> Girl, Oh my god, were you supposed to go to class? <gasps> she's late for class. How late are you? Oh my god, she's an hour late to class. Oh, Tommy really just doesn't want to raise any more kids. He's like, I raised three kids back to back. I'm tired. Jasper's calling us. Go ahead and talk to him. We haven't spoken to your son in a while. Phoenix is home and so is Ruby. Outstanding work, Ruby. I've noticed your impressive grades, which makes you eligible for early graduation. Would you like to? Not right now because she's like just started. Maybe in a couple days. <gasps> she sat up all by herself. Oh my gosh. That's so perfect timing. She's eligible for early graduation and she's saying school is stupid. I should be able to start working or living life. Can I never go to school again? That's actually so perfect because she's like, I want to graduate early. I think she's gonna say school teaches important things, but give it a couple days and we'll see where you are. You haven't even gone to your first prom yet. But Ellie just learned to sit up. You guys, she's learning so quickly. All right, you guys, we are helping Ellie try her first baby foods. I'm so excited. We're helping her try applesauce right now. I really can't remember what Jasper and Rowan and Phoenix ate and what they liked and what they didn't. She liked it. Yay. Um, let's see. Should also do mashed mango because jasmine is a vegetarian so obviously she's going to be giving her the healthiest of options oh she didn't like mango okay so she's not a mango girl that's okay you don't need to get so upset um why don't we try avocado she's not a citrus girl and that's okay try avocado What is the dog eating? The food she didn't eat? Yeah, <laughs> she's eating the food she didn't eat. Ellie was unsure about avocado. But boy, did she make a mess. I am gonna have Phoenix come give Ellie her first bubble bath. And then I thought it would be fun to 
invite the boys over, the potential baby daddies, and have Ellie interact with them. Of course, I know who the father is, but I'm not going to tell y'all that. <laughs> At least, not right now. Ellie is having her very first bath. I'm so happy. She's so cute. Oh, look at that face. Oh, she's so cute. Phoenix looks so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to invite the boys over so they can meet Ellie for the first time. We'll invite Dakota and Derek. I wonder, what do you guys think? Who do you guys think the father is? She's making that call. Derek is the first one here. Oh, you guys, this reminds me of Tommy and Phoenix. This is so cute. I'm obsessed with them. Tommy, I need you to put the baby down so she can introduce the boys to their potential daughter. So she's gonna introduce Ellie to Derek first. Oh, she looks scared out of her mind. She's like, please don't leave me with him. This is so sweet. Ellie, what do you think? Met somebody outside her household. Oh my gosh. This is so sweet. And now she's bawling her eyes out. She's like, mom, please don't leave me. I don't know who this man is. Phoenix, do not go upstairs. Your daughter does not know him. This face is so precious. Look at her little face. Oh my goodness. I can't. I can't. This is so cute. Why does Derek look a little pale? Like, does he look a little pale to anybody else or just me? She looks so mad. She's like, boy. Oh my gosh. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at her little face. You guys don't understand how obsessed I am with this. Why is Derek looking so pale? He is not this pale. Okay, so for whatever reason, she can't introduce the baby to Dakota. I don't know why. Dakota just hasn't, hasn't been interested in her, like, one bit. He's just kind of like, yeah, whatever. Gosh, this is literally Phoenix holding Phoenix. Oh, they're leaving. Okay, Dakota did not interact with her once, which is so sad because that could be his potential daughter and he just, like, didn't care. She's doing so well, you guys. And I can't believe probably by the end of this episode she's gonna be a toddler like she was actually just born as much as i wanted to finish the sprites thing it's not working so i really wanted to do that i thought it was gonna be really fun and she can creep but it's just not working it's glitched out just like everything else in this game so so sorry maybe another heir if i send him off to college will do that as well but look at her go you guys she is so cute what milestones have she has she unlocked learn to grab learn to reach first visitor first bath first bubble bath baby food learn to creep learn to sit up roll over to tummy roll over to back lift head learn to babble. I've, so Phoenix is off to her final class and then she will hopefully be graduating. Lily's calling. We haven't seen Lily in forever. Our good friend Bailey just called us and she adopted a horse and she wanted Phoenix to come see it. So once Phoenix gets back, we're gonna take Ellie to go see Bailey and rent. No, hold on. Bailey and Reese and their new horse. And then she, they can also introduce themselves to Ellie. We're practicing crawling. She's not really getting it. But that's okay. Maybe Tommy can help. She's blowing raspberries. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and head out to the ranch. Alright, you guys, we're here. Ren lost her hair. <laughs> I'm going to have to... Oh my gosh look at this horse oh i'm obsessed hold on who is this uh hold on i gotta put her in like a carrier put ellie in back carrier oh okay well she escaped her back carrier this is pill pim excuse me pimlico pimlico i don't know how to pronounce that name 
Ellie's in a back carrier. Here's Ren. She is an elder. I can't believe it. Oh, are you just putting her on the floor where she can get trampled by the horse? That's such a great move. Horse care. You can brush. You can bottle feed. The poor baby is just crying. I'm so sorry. Babble. You can smile. Oh my gosh, we're feeding the horse. While she's just crying. <laughs> While she's just crying on the floor. You guys, look. This horse is such a cute horse. What was that one video game? It was called like Bella something. Like Bella Horses or something. I don't even remember, but it's reminding me of that so hard right now. She's getting trampled by the horse. Phoenix, can you please pick up your daughter and stop talking to the dog? Anyway, go introduce your daughter to bailey okay phoenix but take your daughter with you reese is here too i don't know why it won't let me introduce her to reese as well our daughter is meeting our best friends this is such a full circle moment oh my gosh oh i think she likes ren gonna chat with ren how are you gonna do that you can't speak babble what it oh my god wait you guys i completely forgot to tell you this so last was it last episode two episodes ago phoenix had a house party where we met where we met allison i think that's her name and allison had a husband who was an elder okay he died you guys he finally died and allison and rowan met and they started dating and now allison is calling us because she found a ring in rowan's back oh my gosh say yes so our best friend allison and our sister rowan are now engaged i'm so excited for them okay well they're not doing anything and our dog just brought us a dead bird so i think it's just time for us to go yay phoenix graduated she got all a's it's been quite a journey that's amazing so we can finally finally get into the politician career Ooh, she's super angry go ahead and put her to bed we have auntie in here checking on her giving her a kiss good night that's so sweet all right you guys we are here at phoenix's graduation it doesn't look like anybody else is here oh bradley's here maybe we can get our last two like kisses in did we already kiss you i'm assuming we did okay yeah that oh, oh i didn't mean to do that oh my god girl stop oh my gosh yeah go go into graduation i didn't get a chance to do her cap throw why don't we flirt with the dragon we have hit rock bottom rock bottom to be flirting with a dragon but you know i don't want to end today's episode without not finishing a part of our aspiration at least oh my gosh That is so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Nine sins. Perfect. I need one more. The first person I see. One more. Hold on. And I mean it. The first person I see. I don't care who you are. I think you're married. Okay. Next first person I see because okay the next next person i see girl why did you do that in front of okay wait you're a society member yeah i agree awkward encounter but if you can kiss her hands that'll be perfect one more and then we're moving on to the last section of our yes we did it now we just need three dates in five more boyfriends or girlfriends okay that's enough out of you but you guys we are finally able to join the politician career find a job go ahead phoenix is finally getting her big girl job 
that she's been working so hard for. Politician. Having a relevant university degree means this position will come with higher pay, easier promotions, more vacation days, and a signing bonus. We're going in as representative, so we are on level eight. Okay, I feel like that's cheating. I feel like that's cheating, but I don't know. I'll, I'll decide next episode. We do have to pick her first cause. Um, what did I say, like, all that time ago? I think it was simoleons for everybody. Yeah, I think it was simoleons for everybody. So that's the cause we're supporting. Oh my gosh, she already looks so much older. I don't know why. But anyway, that is it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, I will decide if I demote her to like level like six or something. Because I feel like eight is a bit ridiculous. But honestly, honestly, we kind of deserve it. I don't know. But also in the next episode, we will be aging up little Ellie. I'm so excited to see her in toddler form. Although she looks exactly like Phoenix. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!